Hello everyone, Dylan Russell here with the Mississippi State University Extension Service and today I'm going to be going over how to install a uh, commonly used sensor that we use to schedule our irrigations uh, and that's the Watermark 200SS soil moisture sensor. Um, there's a couple considerations you have to make before you go into the field and install the sensors. Uh, one of the first things that we recommend is that you precondition your sensors so that it makes it a shorter time that the sensors have to take to acclimate to the soil after you install them. Uh, how we do this is we take a bucket and you install, put your sensors into the bucket and fill up the water level halfway up the sensor and you want to soak it for 30 minutes and then you want to drain the bucket and let it dry the rest of the day. Um, next you want to, before the end of the day, you want to refill your bucket halfway up the sensor and let it soak overnight. The next day would be your installation day. You'll want to read your uh, watermark soil moisture sensors with a handheld reader and make sure that all the sensors are reading at zero. Um, after this, you want to drain your bucket and drain your sensors, and then you can head to the field to install the sensors. Next, before we can put the sensors into the ground, we have to determine a good location for the sensors. Um, the first step in this is we want to pick a representative area in the field that represents a majority soil type as well as a majority or a, a more of an average yield, yielded area. Um, once you have found that location, uh, we recommend that you put in the sensors one third from the bottom end of the field or two thirds from the top end of the field. We recommend this to um, avoid over wetted areas of the field. Uh, if you put the sensors more close to the crown of the field, that's where the irrigation water is coming out. You're going to get more wet towards the front of the field. And you also don't want to put the sensors toward the bottom end of the field, towards the tail ditch, because that is a well as another uh, overwatered area. All right, so once you have found your location into the field, next you want to establish the row that you're going to install the sensor on. Uh, we recommend that you do not install the sensor on a row next to a traffic furrow. Uh, because of this, um, those traffic furrows or furrows that the uh, traffic or the track tire goes down uh, causes a more compacted furrow with less infiltration and we will have higher sensor readings on those uh, areas. So we recommend that you install your sensors on a row that is not a saddle row or on a tractor tire. So once you have found your location, we are prepared to install the sensors. Uh, when we install the sensors, we want to make sure that you find an area in the field that has uh, good established plants, not a skippy area. So once you have found your spot, we recommend that you install the sensors two to three inches away from the plant. You don't want to be too close to the furrow because then you could be clo too close to the water and you could have lower sensor readings in that area. Uh, if you put your sensor too close to the plant, then you can cause some, some root damage. Uh, we also recommend that you install the sensors early in vegetative growth stages of the uh, plant. This would be anywhere between V1 and V3 for soybean, V1 to V4 for uh, corn, and from cotyledon stage to first square in cotton. All right, so now that we have found our location, we are ready to install our sensors. We recommend installing watermark soil moisture sensors using either a slide hammer or with a power drill with a 7 8 inch auger. First we're going to install the soil moisture sensors using the slide hammer. You want to make sure that on your slide hammer you have etched in your depths of your soil moisture sensors to ensure that you're putting your sensors at the correct uh, depth. After you've made your hole, we recommend use, pouring in a soil and water solution to help the sensors acclimate quicker to the soil and to have a more proper soil to sensor contact. Uh, to do this, you could take a water bottle or you can use your preconditioned water that you had your sensors soaking in beforehand and go out to the field, take some soil, from native soil from the field, mix in some water, and you want to mix up 
to where you have about a pancake batter consistency for the uh, solution. So that's what we'll do next. We'll pour the solution into the hole, about halfway up the hole. And then we want to take our sensor put it directly down into the hole. After we have installed the sensor, you want to pack in the soil around the sensor to ensure that there are no openings so we do not have any air pockets in the hole. Another way that we install Watermark Soil Moisture Sensors is with a power drill with a 7 8 inch auger bit. Uh, for the sakes of the video, I will be installing a 12 inch watermark sensor using this method. Another reason that you could use this method is if you're in some soils that are more compacted, this method here is, makes it a lot easier to break up that hard pan. All right, now we're ready to install the 12 inch sensor that we did using the, the drill method. As we did with the six inch sensor, we must pour in a slurry solution to have that good soil to sensor contact. Now I'd like to state again the importance of making sure that you have the correct etching or marking on your probe to uh, the correct depth is when we put these sensors in, we don't want to have any opening at the bottom of the sensor, nothing where water can collect towards the bottom of that sensor. So we want to ensure that we have proper placement. Now, as we did with the six inch sensor, now we want to pack in the soil around the sensor to prevent any openings and air pockets around the sensor. Now you can use either one of these methods, the slide hammer or the power drill with the auger to finish your installation of your 24 and 36 inch sensors. One common issue that we see is bad wiring or faulty wiring into the telemetry box. A way to prevent this is to color code each depth of your sensors to ensure that they're going into the right location in the box. We recommend that you go with a white for your 6 inch sensor, blue for your 12 inch sensor, red for the 24 inch sensor, and orange for the 36 inch sensor. This is very important when you go to wire your sensors into the telemetry box to ensure when you're looking at your readings, you're seeing readings for the correct depth. And that is how you install a set of watermark soil moisture sensors um, with the proper location and the proper installation procedures. We can avoid any type of questions or problems that we, we normally see. Uh, with that, I hope this video was informative and see you next time.